to decide what kind of man you want to grow up to be, Clark. Whoever that man is, he's going to change the world. Taking the mask so far off, you know, superheroes and what they're all about and the why of superheroes. Then to do something like this, for me, where you get to totally, it's all about it being awesome, right? Yeah. It's all about Henry, uh, everyone was really excited when they saw the first photos of you as the Man of Steel in that costume. Mm -hmm. What was it like when you first saw that costume? Um, well, I got to see it through various prototypes and stages of development, obviously, because I put it on. I was think, thinking, trying to describe this movie, it's such a head spinner, to somebody who hasn't seen it. I don't know whether you'd say it's flash dance on acid, whether it's like burlesque with balls, or maybe 300 with shorter skirts and slightly bigger titties. I don't nice. know. Was there a certain... I don't know sort if they of, are bigger, actually. To be well, sometimes not, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Now that Nolan is done with Batman, many are wondering what superhero properties, and more specifically, what DC superhero properties are in the filmmaker's future. Well, the guys over at IndieWire's The Playlist were lucky enough to score some one-on-one -on -one time with...